So a simple super heterodyne receiver we've been working on, Dad and I. It's a uh, Arduino Nano, uh, an SI5351 synthesizer with two outputs, a reference crystal here, 27 megahertz. The 5351 provides a VFO frequency to the first mixer here, which is an NE612, or an SA612 rather, same thing, and, a, and a, provides a BFO frequency here to the second mixer. There's a crystal filter here, um, along here, so it's a uh, mixes uh, with a VFO to get it through the crystal filter and then mixes with a BFO to get it down to audio. There's a it's just a, a simple audio amplifier and then a loudspeaker over the back here. We saw the junk in the shack. Um, messing around with AGC, so there's an, an AD and all devices 603 IF amplifier with variable gain input. And this board here is one of the uh, AD8307 or 8703, I can't remember which way around it is. Uh, it's a, it's a log power detector chip. Um, it's not really suited to this, I've been playing around with it, but this is measuring power and this is doing voltage gain to so the kind of a bit out. Uh, it doesn't quite work, so I need a bit of tinkering here. There's a design um, using a few transistors here, which I also built previously, which is recommended for doing AGC with the AD603 from the data sheet. That works loads better, but um, uh, yeah, I, I thought I'd try this. It seemed like a nicer solution, a single chip one rather than a few transistors. Uh, it seemed like the way to go, but it, it, it doesn't doesn't work anywhere near as well as these as these two transistors work here. So I'll probably tack these back on. Anyway, the software is fairly simple. Um, the S meter is not not currently wired up doing anything. Um, the screen is rolling here with a rolling camera shutter, but it's static in real life. Um, the S meter isn't doing anything at the moment, that's just a uh, mock-up, but it will move up and down with one of the ADC inputs, and likewise this S2 will change uh, here. Um, that's basically waiting for this uh, ADC stuff to be finished, to be finalised, and then I can calibrate that with a signal generator to get the AD, to get the S meter correct. Um, the 2 here is just a debug message that's showing me which, which VFO step I'm on, so We've got uh, Hertz is off screen, not shown, but a single Hertz step is, uh, is 0, 1, 2, and you can see where I'm at because of the little under, underscore under the thing, and you can move that around in software. Throw in an upper sideband, but that's easy to, easy to change with just a button press to change the lower sideband. And that just changes the arrangement of the BFO and VFO to, to make sure the other sideband goes through this crystal filter. <clears throat> um, uh, if I turn the volume up, you can hear vomit. It's not very strong today, conditions aren't great. And you can tune around here. So that's the military one. If I go to 5505, you should be able to hear Shannon vomit. So that's uh, Shannon vomit. Um, pressing the button, pressing the button, just once changes the to lower sideband. Volma actually doesn't doesn't have good sideband suppression. You can still hear it a little bit, um, but uh, that's not the case for everything. Um, yeah, if I press and hold on the the phone, now it flickers, and you can adjust the uh, the so the flashing line is underneath different. Um, different digits so you can turn it to where you like. Go for, for here for example, you can change in coarser steps. Get ourselves up into 18 uh, 40 meters. This is the code is still a little bit buggy. You can see the cursor jumps around I only wrote this last night so it's still a little bit buggy and it's quite sensitive as well but it's a proof of concept it's working. And the wrong sideband. Quite coarse steps, but. Uh, there we go. So you've got plenty of audio gain if you need it. This is RF gain, but it's just maxed out at the moment. I'm going to respin the PCB once I've got the AGC stuff going. I don't think the RF gain will be needed. Um, so you should be able to do it all in IF gain, just have a fixed gain at the front. Um, you need to put a proper audio jack for the headphones uh, or for the uh, speaker output. Um, 
and a little bit of tidying up to get rid of the, some of the there's some digital noise if needed uh, to, just to sort of better tidy up better tidying up of the PCB but it's basically working there's no filtering other than this crystal filter so the image rejection at the moment isn't good um, on the front end so uh, the image from the BFO mixing obviously gives you two different frequencies that will go through the filter the one that you're displaying on here and, and the image through that will also go through the crystal filter so it's, it's not great um, a simple bandpass filter ahead of this would do that and I think version 2 I'm going to make a a GPIO connector or something on the side of the processor that will allow it to pin pin switch a diode board in there or something like that. Um, I'll have a pass through, but it does give the advantage that if I want to, I can go up to say two meters or something and listen around two meters sideband. So that's really nice. Uh, the um, SI five three five one will top out at um, top out at about one hundred and sixty megahertz, so it'll easily cover two meters. And uh, I've been messing around listening to uh, some stuff there. Obviously, you're only only able to receive AM and, and sorry, only able to receive uh, upper and lower sideband, so uh, FM demodulation is not really possible, but it uh, it's doing something. Just thought I'd share the progress anyway, and uh, been working on it for a couple of weekends now. Um, bit of a lockdown project while I'm not working at home.